about the uh, is invitation to your organization, organization committee. Um, in my lab, a number of different things are going on. Today, I'm going to focus on programming <coughs> its analog uh, to, in, yeah, to enhance uh, cancer. <coughs> Um, story of chloroquine, uh, we have to go back to Chitona uh, uh, or Tina Tree, uh, which the uh, power extract has been used for probably centuries in South America, a country like uh, Peru and Bolivia. Uh, they used this uh, extract to control shivering from cold. And then in 17th century, it was introduced to Europe, where it was used to uh, control shivering from malaria. Then eventually, a scientist extracted an active compound called quinine from this part. And then they tried to continue to improve the activity of uh, quinine for malaria treatment. And then a uh, number of uh, intermediate uh, compounds were created, uh, which some of this, the uh, example is Mr. and Peru uh, and Palmer Point. In 1934, uh, Hans Andersen and his colleague at Bayer, um, he uh, created uh, chloroquine from some of this uh, intermediate and used it to uh, close the malaria treatment. Uh, since 1940s, this, this has been widely used worldwide uh, for malaria treatment. Um, uh, this is chloroquine, uh, 319 uh, Dalton uh, small molecule. This has been used, um, uh, as I said, anti-malaria and anti-rheumatoid agent. Uh, until today, 109 clinical trials have been, <coughs> have been uh, conducted. Uh, mostly for uh, malaria uh, treatment, but some uh, anti-viral uh, and uh, other disease, including recently cancer treatment, which is currently uh, going on. <coughs> uh, seven clinical trials, uh, one just finished. And also uh, this molecule, uh, particularly this, uh, this scaffold structure, has been used to improve uh, the drug durability and specificity and efficacy of a chloroquine compound. And how this works uh, in uh, in the uh, the, an the anti-malaria uh, function, chloroquine inhibits the conversion of heme. Uh, heme is the, the byproduct of uh, hemoglobin degradation. Um, malaria parasite used the hemoglobin to obtain amino acid in the uh, digestive bacteria. And unfortunately for the parasite, the game is toxic. So they kind of developed the, uh, the way to uh, overcome this problem by crystallizing him uh, to make a hemozoin. But this chloroquine actually binding to hemozoin and then uh, inhibit the further crystallization. That's how they uh, treat a malaria uh, disease. In cancer, uh, we don't really know uh, many details, but it's kind of similar way. Chloroquine can get into organelle uh, such as lysosome, and where it's accumulated because it's protonated, can get into it, but can't really get out it because it's protonated one that accumulated in the lysosome. And why is lysosome is important for cancer? Well, uh, the uh, autophage <coughs> is kind of survival mechanism to uh, salvage uh, damaged protein and damaged organelle. And uh, as you probably know, uh, cancer cells <coughs> are heavily dependent on the autophage because the cancer often has to live in under the, uh, uh, the condition that oxygen and uh, nutrient are kind of scarce. Uh, therefore, this uh, autophage pathway is important for survival of cancer cell. And then it's the autophagosome has to be, uh, 
have to be fused to their life from at the final stage of uh, autophage uh, pathway. But this pathway is, is inhibited by chloroplane uh, by disabling lysosome. That's how cancer cells are specifically uh, efficiently killed by chloroplane. But it's not really efficient, uh, I will tell you later. Uh, some time ago, we were interested in <coughs> uh, how we can hear effectively radio resistance cell line we developed uh, years ago. And then we tested out this is control and this chloroquine. Chloroquine is, as I said, very inefficient in many ways to kill any, cancer, any cell. So in this case, 10 micromolar chloroquine <coughs> kill about 10% of cells. And uh, irradiation and not seven grade, about 80% of cells are here. And put together, they have about 97% of the cancer cells were here. But this is not simple additive effect. This is kind of synergistic effect. So we were excited about this research. And we wanted to know how this, the uh, combination of chloroquine and irradiation cure cancer. You can see the irradiation at seven grade, most of the cells are died by apoptosis. But when you uh, put that uh, together, actually the uh, mode of cell is very different. It's patterned and looks like a lot of uh, lysosomes kind of uh, enlarged in the how I don't know what it is. How this care? So we want to know uh, a little bit further about this. And uh, then um, this is chloroquine, without chloroquine, this is with chloroquine, and this without irradiation, this irradiation. You can see um, when you irradiate it, uh, the thermite uh, is, is kind of uh, uh, induced at the plasma membrane and also nuclear membrane. Uh, but thermite in chloroquine treated cell actually not here in membrane, but in lysosome. We don't still know why this and how this is happening. Then um, you can see is how uh, chloroquine and uh, irradiation combinations enlarge uh, and the number of uh, lysosome number increase. So this how primary cells are here, and we look at it further and look, look at the combination of therapy, you can see the uh, size of uh, lysosome become very large and fused together. Uh, this is, look at this, this huge is more than 10 times of enormous uh, lysosome size. And then eventually pop up uh, by probably radiation and you look at the lot of back door so at the end of the uh, And we just look at the, the cell healing effect of chloroquine. And this is M77 breast cancer cell. And this is 184B5 non-cancer breast cell. And you look at here, in, uh, at high dose, chloroquine can kill uh, cancer cell. But really very little cell killing effect, even at very high dose, uh, when you, uh, you give to the uh, non-cancer cell lines here. So this IC50 value is about this range, about 30 micromolar range usually, and 184B5 non-cancer is more than double of that. <coughs> and then, <coughs> as I said, we were interested in how we can improve uh, radiation therapy in the beginning of our study. And then we developed a uh, cell line resistant to uh, irradiation and then analyzed the biomicroarray study. And we found PICK AKT pathway was elevated. Uh, as you know, um, PICK AKT pathway uh, is, is uh, consistently elevated and active in many cancers. So I'm not going to get into this detail of the how this works, but I'd like you to focus on PIC <coughs> kinase here and this activate AKT uh, 1 and 2 and 3, and then eventually M4 pathway. And then uh, LY294002, or I'm just calling LY, is inhibiting PSDK pathway. 
And then uh, over here, uh, I call it compound A in here, AKT1 and 2 here. And then propane, and then LY, which is PITK in here. Uh, you look at here, this is cancer cell line. Uh, this is non cancer cell line. And uh, uh, without the propane, this is the line. Uh, uh, the efficacy is of this, this compound in this cell, this line. When you have 10 micromolar uh, propane here, you can uh, kill cancer cell very effectively. But non cancer cell, it doesn't really make too much difference. So, this specificity is important to treat cancer. And then we, uh, to improve the efficacy and specificity of propane, we generated a chemical library uh, by the positioning, which I show you here, and hybrid chemical core approach, which I don't really talk too much about it today. So this is one example. And this is number five, I call it. It's very similar, only difference is here and here from the chloroquine. And this is chloroquine efficacy of MDA and MD231 and 468, 231 and 7 This is where differentiated breast cancer cell, cell line. Uh, this is intermediate. This is not really well differentiated breast cancer cell line. You compare this uh, here's chloroquine and the number five is quite a bit different. Improvement is about 3.24 here. But the important thing is that uh, is this I put specificity. Specificity means here that you kill cancer cells specifically uh, compared to a normal cell. Uh, so you, you, you improve here about more than tenfold here, but killing non cancer cells uh, <coughs> is less than half. So all together you have what 12 fold improvement of uh, specificity. So we feel it is very important property of any anti-cancer compound. Then uh, we wanted to look at the downstream of PICK. Uh, so we look at AKT isoform, uh, how when we uh, knock down each AKT isoform by siRNA approach, how this fat cell uh, survival. So this you can see the AKT2 knockout actually survive much less than AKT1 or 3. But if you uh, uh, block AKT1 and 2 together, this actually most effective. So we wanted to look at the AKT1 2 inhibitors. So uh, before that, uh, we look at how this killing, then this the, uh, slide is shown actually killing mode is uh, of the uh, autophagy, uh, this uh, more than calibrating as uh, autophagosome uh, incorporated uh, into the autophagosome, uh, <coughs> autophagosome uh, and this nitro tracker. And then you can see this the, at by 120 hours, this um, lysosome becomes, um, uh, well, not, in this case it's not lysosome, it might convert become very large and then incorporate it uh, into uh, autophagosome. And then this is the control psilocybia. But by 144 hours or later, if all of the uh, mitochondria are degraded and cell time. And then we look at the AKT inhibitor. Uh, I want to show you this AKT1 to inhibitor. We call compound A. Compound 9, I will show the data. And this is control uh, PICK inhibitor. And uh, look at this, the uh, compound A is improved not too much, but it's, it's nevertheless from here, for example, or not this one. Uh, six, molecular, six micromolar range. But when you uh, have a 10 micromolar propane, about two, two and a half fold uh, more efficient. The thing is, important thing is that M77, for example, uh, when you add a 10 micromolar propane, it's about 0.01 uh, micromolar IC50 value. 
But when you have this non-cancer cell, there still it didn't really uh, affect too much. So altogether, actually, when you look at this, the fish that contain this and this, it's 123 times more effectively killed cancer cell compared to killing non-cancer cell. So we feel it is very important property. So this is much better than uh, PICK inhibitors in many ways, efficacy-wise and specificity-wise. So we combine chloroquine and PICK. This is actually, data, well, I, I data shown in table. This is in different way I showed you. So you can see this, this is non-cancer cell, this or the cancer cell. Specifically, differentiated MCAP7 cells are very, very effectively killed by this combination of chloroquine and compound A. So we wanted to, as I said, improve further of the chloroquine. So we used compound 5, I showed you already, uh, plus compound 8. And you look at about uh, 0.4 micromole of compound 8 and variable uh, concentration of number 5. Then at the one micromolar of number five and 0.4 micromolar of compound A, you can kill, it's not cancer, it's not cancer cell, you, can, you don't need really to kill very much, but look at here, if in this case, actually MD, MD231, which is not differentiated very well cell lines, uh, is killed very, very effectively. I thought this is very important because we are dealing with metastatic with cancer cell lines. So this could be a very effective way of controlling uh, metastatic uh, breast cancer. And this is another example, uh, combination of number five and number nine, similar results. And then uh, eventually we wanted to develop, uh, without the combination, certain chloroquine derivative. As I said, we not only did the repositioning approach, but we also took a hybrid approach with the other pharmacophor. And this is one example uh, I call here Combined 101. And this is the control, non-treated non control. And this is 8 micromolar, which is about four times the IC50 value. And in, within 48 hours, you can see this is the, uh, this, uh, this kind of profile of as show uh, apoptosis. So about almost 40% of cells population die by apoptosis by 48 hours. So this is very, very effective. Uh, in contrast, this is MCF10A non-cancer cell. Uh, at the same, uh, same dose, at the same time, you don't need it here, uh, non-cancer cell very much at all. And this is kind of control again, uh, chloroquine, 50 micromolar, which is about double of the IC50 value, you, you kill some of the cell by apoptosis. So this, this compound 101 is much more effective than chloroquine, but not only much more effective, but safer than chloroquine with it. So we just continue to improve. We have done uh, quite a bit of work on this 101, but probably I will present this next time. Uh, so this is summary, although ineffective, chloroquine alone does kill cell at a very <coughs> high dose in a, in a many way, in a very specific to cancer cell. Uh, and then a combination of AKD inhibitors such as uh, number eight, compound number eight, uh, and chloroquine analog number five can effectively kill cancer cell in a highly cancer specific manner. And a combined approach may provide an excellent opportunity of controlling tumors with minimum side effects. So this is one. Uh, it is interesting to note that many currently available anti-cancer drugs were even, uh, initially developed just by looking at highly effective cell killing. Uh, but in contrast, from very beginning, we always compared uh, cancer cell killing and non-cancer cell killing. Uh, by doing so, we fear at the end we may have a better drug uh, the, uh, at the clinic. Uh, the interesting finding we found is that any, any compound here 
very, very effectively. They kill both cancer and non-cancer cells very, very effectively. <coughs> it, this is probably because uh, the, the drug targeting essential <coughs> fundamental survival mechanism <coughs> of any cell. That's maybe why. It is, um, cisplatin or any, any drug is this kind of similar way. But if you actually uh, have to use the compound a little bit less effective, but often those uh, drug compounds have a specificity killing cancer cells much better than non-cancer cells. Uh, probably the reason is that it's maybe cancer cell has uh, some specific pathway Although they may, that pathway may be important for survival of non-cancer cell, but cancer cell may be uh, heavily dependent on that pathway. So this, some of the compound can target that kind of pathway. Um, so compound 101, without the combination with other uh, drugs, it can kill very, very effectively and very specifically. So, uh, this is, these are the person who work on this product, and these are uh, yeah, the, the people who gave me money. So I thank them. Thank you. Every 